The sacred word today is a word you know, Lent. It comes from an old English word, and I can't say it right, Lent and know something like that. Uh, it comes from an old English word that is not a religious word at all. It literally means spring. And it is because the church remembered that it was in the spring of the year that Christ died and rose again from the dead. About the fourth century, when the Jewish community and the Christian community uh, were fighting amongst each other and mistrusting each other, the rabbis stopped telling the church when Passover was, because Passover wasn't connected to a particular day, but fell in the calendar of the lunar calendar of the Jewish, followed the lunar calendar. The Romans followed a solar calendar. So as the church moved through the Roman Empire, it became more accustomed to the, so, the sun calendar and not the lunar calendar. Well, after saying all that, so the church decided they want, had to pick a day for when Easter would be. And so they decided that, if, that they would want to pick a particular day of the week and it would be Sunday because that's the Lord's day and the, uh, se technically the celebration of the resurrection is every Lord's Day. That's why in Lent it's considered a feast day because Christ is risen. It can be said, Christ is risen can be said every Sunday because that's what the celebration is. It's the first day of the week, the day that Christ rose from the dead. But anyway, uh, so they wanted it on a Sunday and then they wanted to keep somehow to the lunar uh, calendar or the lunar part of what Passover was. And if you follow Jewish and Christian celebration, Passover can be before Easter or after Easter. It's in the same period of time. Because, uh, and so they decided that it'd be the, the Sunday after the first full moon, after the spring equinox. And the spring equinox is when the day and night are equal. So 12 hours day, 12 hours night. And, and so if you know, may notice that every Holy Week, there's a full moon. And that's what's going on there. It's that connection between that ancient calendar and the new one. But anyway, Old English again, our language, um, we call it Lent, referring to springtime. The vast majority of other languages in the world refer to this season as 40 days. And they're talking about the days of Lent, not the time of Lent. Lent is a time, the spring. The other thing is, is as we look around our frozen tundra up here in northeast Ohio, all of us long for spring. And so Lent is not necessarily a time to beat each other up. It's a time of longing and looking forward to new life. So say the word with me with joy, Lent. <laughs>